whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not sleeping in here again, are you? Yeah, Dad. No offense, but your snoring is unbearable. I agree. Except for the no offense part. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you go sleep on the nice, comfy couch, huh? I got a better idea. Why don't you two buy a house? Then you can decide where people sleep. Hey, I pay for groceries. I mean, I haven't yet, but you told me I'm supposed to. Look, I'm the dad. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, I'm starting to warm up to this place. Sue's bed is comfortable. The room smells like flowers. And her unicorn nightlight lights my path to the bathroom like a runway. God, this is so unfair. You're just taking over everything. I don't want to hear it. You two have very nice beds in a very nice house. Now scamper through that hole in the wall and leave me alone. I can't believe Dad drove us from our own room. Does he know what time I have to be on the bus tomorrow? What about me, huh? I gotta drive the bus. You just gotta sit in the back and cope with clever nicknames for Susie Miller's boobs. Or whatever it is you do to pass the time. Point is, I am responsible for children. Dad works in a quarry. I mean, what does he even do there? I saw him staple a few papers when I was there. He probably sells rocks. You don't sell rocks, Brick. People just dig them up. It's public domain. Well, maybe he turns rocks into marble counters. If he could do that, we'd have a better kitchen. Well, I know the word quarry is derived from the old French quarrier, which translates to Latin and means place where stone is squared. Okay, so we've established you'll never see a girl naked. Hmm. How's that college degree? Did you get it from the university of moving back in with your parents? Mean? Is that funny, Rick? Look, all I know is a guy who does something with rocks is making us sleep out here. I need sleep, dude. I'm a bus driver. I need sleep, too. I gotta do well in school so I don't end up as a bus driver or a guy who does stuff with rocks. Uh, what does Dad do?